Okay, I started out with some contacts. If you're gonna wear this look out, um, I suggest wearing contacts. If not, you could just paint the pupil on your lids. Um, these ones that I'm wearing are Aqua Cat by Camo Eyes. And then I started off by covering my lid with um, a turquoise face paint and just cleaning up around the edges and then setting that with a turquoise colored eyeshadow. This is gonna ensure that you have a long lasting um, paint and also it doesn't crease on your eyelids. And then I went around with a big round cat eye shape with some black face paint and a very small brush. And using a photo as reference, I just tried to copy the Cheshire cat's eye shape and um, his big wing that goes all the way to the side of his head. And then very carefully, I lined my waterline with a black eyeliner. Carefully your contacts. And then I went around the black face paint with um, a liner brush and went just on my lash line with the black eyeshadow to set it again and to um, darken the my lash line. And then I just used some mascara, just a couple coats. I didn't want to use false lashes in this look because I thought it would take away from the big cat eyes. But it's up to you. And then I just mapped out my design with my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk. And then I started laying down my teeth. Um, I used a large round brush and used the shape of the brush um, to kind of shape the teeth. Now we're gonna reshape them later so it doesn't have to be perfect. I also added the tiniest bit of brown in my white paint just so it gave it a little bit of a dull look so the, um, the teeth looked a little more realistic. And the Cheshire's cat teeth in the front, um, you can see the bottom teeth, but then on the sides it just has these crazy uh, top teeth that kind of go kind of wacky. And then I used Mehron Star Blend in white and I just started laying down a base for my fur, um, just where I saw most white on, the, on his face. We're gonna do lots of layers with the fur. It just looks better that way. Um, I just put in my pink nose. And then I outlined the bottom lip in black because it's on the bottom, it's gonna be a little more in the shadow, so it's gonna be darker. And the top lip I outlined in gray and make sure you split your lip in the center. And then I just put a little pink um, for the gums at the bottom center of his mouth. And then with a tiny brush and some black face paint, I went around each tooth, and here's where you're gonna shape them a little better, and then filled in all the black areas in between the teeth. Okay, and here's where we start layering the fur. So my first layer is gonna be with a larger brush and I'm just putting in some white fur where I see mostly white um, on the picture of the Cheshire Cat. And um, we're just doing quick fur-like strokes. Again, we're gonna do lots of layers. I did the same thing with the teal color and then also gray. Just putting in some big strokes of where, laying down where the fur color is gonna be. Mm -hmm. 
And then I took some eyeshadow and went over those areas and kind of filled in the empty space. Um, again, it looks like you're covering up most of your work, but trust me, a lot of layers looks best. We're just adding, and I'm adding some more color too. And then with a the dark gray eyeshadow, I did my gray spots. Kind of feathering it out like um, you're still doing like fur strokes. And then I especially shaded with the dark gray underneath that lower lip. And then with my Sigma FX1 brush, which is a great brush for fur. Um, if you don't have this brush, I would suggest maybe a fan brush you can get at any craft store. And now I'm doing the fine fur strokes, so with black face paint. Um, I'm just finding the areas that have the gray fur on it and just doing some light fur strokes. I switched to my Sigma FX8 brush, which is a smaller brush that's very similar. It has those bristles that stick out. Uh, I did the same thing with black and white and just put in some fur everywhere. Lots of layers, looks best. And then I made some little fur strokes over the upper lip there. And then with a black eyeshadow, I shaded underneath that lip on the teeth to make them look like they are, um, you know, in the shadow of underneath the lip. And then also on the sides of the mouth, a little bit of shadow, but not too much because memory has a big wide grin and a little bit of shading around the gums um, under those bottom teeth. This is what makes it look realistic and um, dimensional. And then I did a little bit of highlighting on the front teeth. Don't go too far into the shadowed teeth on the side, um, but again, it gives it some more dimension. And then you wanna black out any areas you don't want seen, your neck, your ears. And then I forgot to shade around my nose. Make sure you put that little split line underneath your nose. And then I took my white face paint and my teal colored face paint and went all the way up into my hairline. A face paint is a great thing to use as a temporary color. It washes out really easy and it just looks really good in your hair. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys liked this one. Um, please subscribe for more and I will see you in my next video. Bye.